Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Jonathan Mills Patrick. Welcome to another episode of the Southbound Podcast. Usually, I interview entrepreneurs and startups from the southern United States, taking a bit of a break from that to bring you what I'm calling the Funding Simplified series, where I break down the funding process, whether that's getting loans or debt through institutions that will provide that for startups and entrepreneurs and existing companies, or whether that's working with investors, giving up equity in your business to fund it and grow along the way. Today, I want to talk to you about a type of grant. On Monday, I talked about grants in general. Today, we're going to talk about SBIR grants and what those are a small business innovation research grants. And the whole idea behind the SBIR is to help companies that have good ideas commercialize or actually go through the process of validating that idea so they can get to the point of commercializing that idea down the road. So it's a federal government uh, provided grant and I'm going to break down the different phases of the grants here for you in just a second. Know that there are 11 agencies that if they have, uh, basically the way it works is if the federal government, uh, if a federal agency has over a hundred million dollar budget, they're required to, to put into this grant, SBR grant uh, funding, they're required to put a certain amount of their budget into SBIR grants to help commercialize ideas, help small businesses grow ideas along the way. So there are 11 agencies. Uh, they're, they're also mostly federal agencies like the Department of Defense, Department of Energy, those types of companies. But again, parts of their budget are required to be put into SBIR grants. So they'll put out on grants.gov the type of uh, research that they're looking for for problems that they have that they'd like to commercialize along the way. Know that SBIR grants are highly competitive. I talked about that on, on Monday, but SBR grants are highly competitive and they have a very, very detailed process of what they're looking for in your grant submission. There, uh, in the notes, I'm going to put a list of sort of the different things that you should be talking about in your grant application for an SBIR. It can vary a little bit depending on the type of grant or the agency that's looking for a solution like yours, but there are typical sort of standard formats that you'll need to do in your application. Also know that SBIRs are funded in what's called phases. So phase one is usually when you have an idea, but you need to do a lot more research around that idea, a lot more conversation with potential customers down the road, a lot of research and time spent in the lab figuring out how your idea is really going to work. And in phase one, an SBIR will fund up to $150,000, and that will generally last about six months. So what happens after six months? Well, after six months, you can apply to move to phase two of an SBIR grant, and then they will fund more money up to a million dollars, and then that time frame can take an additional two years. Past phase two, there's also a phase three where you have to then really start to commercialize your idea. So phases one and two are generally about proving the idea, improving on your solution, and then phase three is when you really have to go out and commercialize it. I've experienced SBIRs and STTRs, and I'm going to talk about on Friday quite a bit with the Fairview Technology Center, uh, Knoxville's business incubator that I help manage. The companies there almost exclusively are funded through these SBIRs and some STTRs. So I've had the exposure of seeing them go through their phase one research, their submission of applications with this detailed format of information they have to provide, and then watching them go into phase two where they've been able to sort of prove what phase one helped them accomplish and what they're going to accomplish in phase two to get ready for phase three funding. So I uh, hope that information helps you. On Friday, I'll talk specifically about STTRs. Not a whole lot different. The phases are slightly different. So if you're interested in that type of information, be sure you check back with me on Friday. Hope this helps you a lot. Have a great day.